Today, you've joined hundreds of established and emerging writers who are discovering ways to reach their writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. You're listening to Ann Croker, Writing Coach. This is episode 256. No time to write? Make solid progress in just five minutes. During the early years of parenthood, I wasted a lot of time feeling sorry for myself. Why can't I have my own dedicated writing space, I wondered. Why can't I have blocks of uninterrupted time? The overwhelming demands of being a stay-at-home mom almost shut down my creativity. In time, thank heavens, I stopped griping and started looking for solutions. My idea? Instead of waiting for the perfect conditions, I snatched time. I wrote when the kids were napping. I wrote late at night. I wrote when they were engrossed in a movie. I squeezed writing into the tiny openings in my days. Sometimes I only had five minutes, but I wrote. By making the most of a few free minutes here and there, I kept my writing identity alive. This spontaneous approach made for a messy writing life, however. I left a trail of pens throughout the house. I scratched fleeting phrases onto the backs of envelopes. I scribbled a line of poetry onto a Wendy's receipt and shoved it into our minivan's cup holders. If I could go back, I would organize my writing ideas into one central container of some kind. I needed a master notebook for all those scraps or a notes app on my phone to tap out those ideas and preserve them. That would have been smart. I have no idea where that Wendy's receipt ended up, so that lyrical line is lost forever. Please learn from my mistake and find an official container for your work. Now, how you corral and contain your ideas is totally up to you. There's no single approach for every writer, but I do recommend you decide on something you can carry with you all the time. For example, a simple manila envelope that you stuff into an oversized bag that goes with you everywhere, that could contain all your scraps of paper if you scribble on whatever's nearby. Or a three-ring binder with little folders and dividers snapped in there, or an accordion file. Those could be more organized versions of that. If you're more suited to digital options, you can use any number of apps for iOS or Android. At any rate, even when I didn't stay organized, I still found a way forward in the midst of motherhood. How? I seized tiny moments. I learned that a single sentence or well-crafted phrase composed in just five minutes time could lay the foundation for a future manuscript. As a result, I made solid progress on project after project. I built a respectable portfolio that led to a respectable freelance writing career. Time and opportunities opened up as my kids grew more independent. I wrote books, joined writing communities, worked as an editor, and as you know, established a coaching business. All of that was possible because I made the most of five minutes here and five minutes there. That approach helped my writing self survive those early child-rearing years and, in 2014, four years of extreme elder care chaos. Thankfully, expectations have eased up and my current life stage permits me blocks of time to write, but you know what? I still try to seize every opportunity. To this day, I write during those tiny moments that free up, and it keeps me on track toward achieving my writing goals. So if you don't already, I hope you try it yourself. Write whenever you can and wherever you can for as long as you can. In her book, The Right to Write, Julia Cameron says, the If I had time, lie is a convenient way to ignore the fact that novels require being written and that writing happens a sentence at a time. Sentences can happen in a moment. Enough stolen moments, enough stolen sentences, and a novel is born without the luxury of time. Yes, it is daunting to think of finding time to write an entire novel, but it is not so daunting to think of finding time to write a paragraph even a sentence. And paragraphs made of sentences are what novels are really made of. No matter what complicates your schedule, whether you have a full-time job or you're a full-time caregiver, write what you can when you can. Because conditions are never perfect and the words will come even five minutes at a time. So the next time you have five minutes free, here are a few writing tasks that a nonfiction writer could tackle. For example, You could brainstorm key points or subtopics for an upcoming project. 
You could create a mind map or outline the blog post, article, or chapter. You could edit and polish a paragraph for clarity. You could rewrite a sentence to improve its flow or strengthen its impact. You could generate ideas for examples, anecdotes, or case studies to illustrate your points. Those are just a few ideas for nonfiction writers. How about for fiction? You could create a brief character sketch for a new or existing character. You could jot down a vivid description of a setting or location or write a snippet of dialogue between two characters. You could even create a mini storyboard or visualization of a crucial scene. Those are just a few examples from longer lists that I have assembled for both fiction and nonfiction writers in a resource I'm calling Five Minute Writer by Ann Croker Writing Coach with tiny writing tasks to tackle in tiny freed up moments. The Five Minute Writer freebie is a fillable workbook that you can grab absolutely free. Just go to annkroker.com slash five minute writer, sign up and you will have access to it immediately. Again, all you have to do is go to annkroker.com slash five minute writer. So I hope to hear more about how you tackle tiny tasks in your tiny freed up moments. So definitely let me know as soon as you download that, you can reply to the email. Let me know what you get done because I want to celebrate your progress. I'm Ann Croker cheering you on as a writing coach in your ear everywhere we may meet at my website here on this podcast in your inbox or even in person i'm always looking for ideas to share with you that will help you achieve your writing goals and have fun by being more curious creative and productive thank you for listening